Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to Artistic License, my Thursday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. And first, oh my gosh, thank you so much, Lunar, for that tier two subscription. 20 months, you've been with me so long, I can look at how long Lunar has been subscribed and know when I reached monetization on it. Wonderful. <laughs> and welcome in, Koneko. So the first didn't work, but Koneko was first today, so congratulations on the first don't know why it was not the the machine was not working i swear i i haven't streamed other times today you would know um and no one else was here and triggered first so anyways i don't know what's going on with that and welcome in kitty welcome in all right you guys um what we are going to be doing today is we're going to be going back to our sims 2 pleasant view playthrough which i did the first episode of that forever ago as like a test to see about streaming sims general and you know i just got distracted and never went back so we're gonna go back to that we ended it doing um darren's boring painting that he does but while he's been doing that we've been having his son you know flirt with his girlfriend lilith so we're gonna go back to that playing with the the pre-made pleasant view sims i love those um and i can't wait to go back and show you guys but first i have something to tell you okay very exciting <clears throat> sorry i'm still a little phlegmy from the although I'm, I'm well over it i tested negative and like no symptoms i'm fine <clears throat> just a little, you know, there's some residue. Sorry, it's gross. But anyway, what I want to tell you guys, because it's so exciting, is... Or can I... Can I pick it up? I'm trying to pick it up. It's so white, it's hard to, like, see. Tell what it is. There we go. There we go. I, I do my white balance a little funky because my skin's so pale, but there we go. There we go. So I got a big girl switch, you guys. Voodoo, welcome in. Thank you so much for joining us. We're playing Sims 2 today. We have some fun here. We have some fun here. But I tell you guys that I got the big girl switch. That means it's like, I can stream Switch games now. I can stream Switch games. So when the new Pokemon comes out, I can show you guys the new Pokemon. Um, we can stream some Animal Crossing. We can, you know, we can do all that. So I got a big girl switch. I got Animal Crossing edition and look at this pro controller I got. Let me show you guys. I'm such a dork. I got the matching pro controller with KK slider on the lunar. And it matches with the pro controller. I love it. I absolutely love it. <clears throat> that was um, one of the awards they give out Regularly at work comes with a two hundred fifty dollars gift card. I got one recently, and that's what I bought. <laughs> Thank you for the howl, Lunar. Thank you for the howl, and I caught that whistle kid. Hell yeah, that Animal Crossing Switch. Hey, welcome in, Jacob. Hey, it's been a second since I've seen you. Welcome back. So happy to have you here. So happy to have you here. I love Let's Go Eevee Switch. I can't decide which is cuter, AC Switch or Eevee Switch. The Eevee Switch is very cute, my friend. Like it's very cute. True. Cat was in puke stance for a second. She didn't actually puke, did they? I was not watching. <laughs> uh, hopefully the cat's not puking. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Um, that lady is, lady is harassing my nerve. I actually went into the office to work yesterday, and she did not like it. She did not like it at all. She's been a little needy on me today. Um, so, yes. Okay. As you guys know, yeah, Evie, on my head. And, oh, I also have to say, happy Pride, everybody. It is the month for the gays and the theys, and we love it here. That's how we do. Okay, so we got the rainbow. We got the rainbow. Oh, no. Or Pride. That's right. Okay. <laughs> I love the Evie on my head, too. Okay. All right, you guys. As you know, at the top of the stream, the first thing we'd like to do to kind of get warmed up and hang out just a little bit, we like to do a little you quiz. So, boom. Since we're playing Sims today, and you can be anything you want in The Sims, we're going to find out if we are pirate, knight, cowboy, or vampire. Odin, okay? No wrong results, all gender neutral. Love that. Okay, let's go. All right, we're going to pick a sunset first. Lavender sky, black gray gin, crickets, the sound of a lone owl somewhere in the distance. Sky like orange shorebird nestling over a blue cloth. Sprinkling of a thousand stars, someone's got that old camp going. 
fiery pink sky, a blanket of long grass. You somehow haven't even bothered by any bugs. Oh, that's a mirror. Someone is walking towards you with their back to the sun. Soft wind. Sky like ink. The late ink. They're going on. From off of the sun. We're going to go with the piano. I think like orange sherbet melting over a blue tablecloth. Like this reminds me of like, you know, it's sun setting over the ocean, right? The blue tablecloth being the ocean, right? I'm thinking that's what we're going to do. Okay. Thoughts on the Oxford comma. How the title of this quiz is formatted. Yes. Okay. So we all know what an Oxford comma is. It's that comma for the and. Um, I like this because this is a vampire. Talk about an Oxford. Uh, Oxford comma should be used casually, academically, and spiritually. Whoa. I feel like I probably switched between using it and not using it. I like to list things using periods for emphasis. <laughs> Chaotic answer here. I, I mean, I love this song, so we have to go We have to go for this song. Although, in reality, when you have to, when you must, I will use an Oxford comma, but I don't think it's always necessary. Oh, welcome in, Kendra, and thank you so much for the lurk, my friend. So happy to have you here. Pick a lyric. There is no killing. This time, I'll be your partner in crime. Going in town with six rounds, you're sure to be hellbound. That house you've got built on the sand. Where were you when I was still kind? Just a water treader waiting on the land. Leave me out of the waste. Not what I do. It's the wrong kind of place to be thinking of you. Oh, okay. I like this one. I vibe with this one. What would you get, Koneko? What coding do you have? <clears throat> is your destiny predetermined? Oh, and it's not a straight yes or no for me. It's not a straight yes or no. I think people do the best they can within the systems that they're given, and you really don't have a lot of control over certain things, so in a way, it's predetermined. I still think that we all can choose. You know, we, we still all can choose like our attitudes and our actions and the way that we, we operate within the system that we're given. So I don't know. I mean, like, I guess yes, but like not not yes in like a fate way. No. Yes in like a things happen because of what you do and where you live circumstances way. What are you gonna do about that? I'm gonna fight it. My destiny's mine. I'll shape it like an unworked clay. I'm gonna drown in it. I'm vying for my destiny. We're on the same side. I'm going to run from it. No, we're on the same side. We got a cowboy. Okay, I'll read it in a second, Cornet. Pick a painting. Uh, we've got Princess Tarkroff in the Peter and Paul Fortress at the time of the flood. Okay. We've got Never Let Me Go. We've got the Dinner Horn and we've got Unknown. Um, I love the sky in this painting, so I think it's Jane! Oh my gosh, Jane, it's been so long. Girl, how are you? Oh my gosh. Don't forget to exclamation poke catch if you're playing the the um chat game with us if you've not played it before. You can exclamation um, CG Pokemon chat game. That will teach you about it. Where we're going with unknown because I love it. A lucky object. A locket that you can't get open anymore. You forget what's inside. A wooden comb with an ornate handle. There are initials that aren't yours carved into it. Glass bead shaped like a honeybee. You carry it in your breast pocket. A silver dollar that you were given by an old woman in town. Rubbed clean. Done. Cool. Okay, um, I like the locket, I think. I, well, you know what? I needed a Jane in my chat. So I think this is exactly what should happen today. It's Pokey Catch Lunar, exclamation Pokey Catch. It'll tell you, it'll tell us in like a certain, like 90 seconds, it'll tell us if any of us caught it. If you could study one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Art, science, literature, history, agriculture, religion, architecture, astronomy. Literature, because if I study literature, I can I can get all these. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> you did. You shared the brain cell today. All right, pick a season: spring, summer, fall, or winter. Spring. Yep. Oh, good job, Jacob. Okay, we don't answer the text one. So. <clears throat> oh, I got pirate. Okay. So why is it that people back away when you smile? You're not a bad person. You're sitting in the crow's nest, looking out over the water, and they'll tell you they can't believe what you've done. You're pretty sure they've never seen the world from up here. The ocean holds you like no one else. I'm an ocean baby. 
Okay, I'm scrolling back up to find Jiris Queen Echo. All right, so we've got Cowboy. So Cowboy is sun dust, mirage deep in the distance. When's the last time you saw rain around these parts? When's the last time you saw? You can't get attached if you don't stay, but you keep getting attached and leaving anyway. Carry the love with you like a stone on your back. It's time to go home. It's time to fly. Oh, yours is very poetic. What does it say for night, Jacob? Apparently pirate's the rarest. Down here, that's what it says. I do think out of these, I probably am pirate coded. I think I, I am probably pirate coded. Um, yeah. Not in a bad person way, but in like an, an ocean anarchy kind of way. <laughs> so pirate coded, yes. All right, you guys. <clears throat> so I have Sims 2 in the background minimized. I, it doesn't look like I've dropped a lot of frames. Usually when I have Sims 2 in the background, it like freaks out. Anyway, we're gonna get back to it. And um, okay, so the audio is going. How do y'all let me know how the audio sounds? But here we go. Boom! Now you guys can see too. And the pirate that sings on the Sponge song, SpongeBob song. Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Yes. Okay. The sun is in your eyes, but you can see it for so far out that it doesn't matter. Those fields, those battlegrounds, your sword is limp at your side. You fought and you cried and you won. People are whispering your name in the town square. Never been a fighter. Oh, yours is. I like the answers for this one. They're all very poetic. They're all very poetic. Okay, so where we left off was in the Dreamer house. So we're going to load up the Dreamer house. I need a Karen house update and a kitty update. Oh my God, Jane. Oh my God. Um, We still don't have a closing date on the new house. We still don't have because the county isn't sending water meters. They're behind on sending water meters, so they can't give us a closing date. Um, so the best I can tell you is that the soonest we might move now is July. That's it. That's it. Um, tell the county to send water meters. What? Oh no, it crashed. Um, well, shoot, okay. Gotta reopen it. We might drop some frames while it's loading up, um, we'll see how this goes. I cannot believe it crashed. Uh, oops. <laughs> Sims 2, please, please run. Please work. Please let me do what I plan for this game. Please. Nice. We burn the city then? Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry y'all's ears got blasted for a second. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is, kitty. You know, we'll move when we move. Move, we'll move. These made bad choices and is still covered in poison ivy from it, but everything's great and that's great. I'm so sorry you're still having a reaction to the poison ivy kitty. I feel like that was over a week ago now, but like, I can't lie. Like, I have reactions like that. Like, if I get bitten by a mosquito, that bite's gonna be there for like a week. If I get like poison ivy or poison oak or something, like that rash is gonna be there, you know? Um. Oh, first worked for you. Why didn't it work for Koneko? Oh, well, I guess we can have two first people, okay? Koneko and, and Jacob can be first, but we know Koneko was the first. Sorry, Jacob, it's just, I do love you though, and I'm glad you came back and hang out with us. All right, let's see if Dreamer will load this time. Don't crash. I loaded this up to make sure this all worked the other day, and nothing, there was no problems, but of course, it's time to stream. Twitch is probably being a jerk for the reason it's been laggy to me lately, so it might be it. I don't know. All right, here we go. Yay! It loaded. Okay. Yay! <laughs> Jane, you are not new. Stop it. My gosh. Okay. So Darren's working on his painting um, so that he can pay the bills because he wants to be an artist. You guys remember that from last week. Um, and we've got, you can see, already invited all right so let's go over here and you get off the computer get off the computer boy so Dirk and Lilith are together they're boyfriend and girlfriend um that's the way I like to play I mean you don't have to but you can see how he has this make out with Lilith if you want and you'll remember we talked that before so that's that's like how I interpret them them kind of telling you like this is what they expect you to do What's up, Steven? We're really not interested in you right now, though. Oh, and they just, they're just doing that. Okay, have them flirt. 
they are going to have them make out. Let's check out their relationship. Yeah, see, they got really good. They got 184. How will my future end up? Oh, here we go, and they're in love. Okay, time to make out. Um, where is it? Yes. Make out. There we go. All right, we'll get you a tarot card, Jacob. Um, we'll do it after we finish the dreamer house, so don't let me forget. But before we cycle to the next house, right? We're doing all of, like, the Maxis intended, like, um, things that... What a kiss, yeah. It's good. Like, they really love each other. She's, like, a bad girl, and she's, like, a good boy. You know, he wants to, like, do well in school and make money and stuff, and she just wants to, um, you know, and cause trouble and fight with her. We're gonna do the pleasant house next. We're gonna do the pleasant house next. <coughs> so I like, I kind of will let them kind of autonomous, autonomously hang out a little bit. Really wants to answer that phone. Okay. No, Darren is working on his painting. So I kind of like to let them hang out and watch them um, while uh, while he finishes. I think he's on his second painting. Pretty sure. Let me check. Got a skill point. <clears throat> so I usually will let him like go just kind of watch them and they'll do like teenager stuff. Um phone was stressing me out. I guess it was stressing him out too. <laughs> um now he does have homework. Sometimes he rolls a want for doing his homework, and I only have them do their homework if they roll the want for it. So he's not gonna do his homework. He's gonna hang out with his girlfriend. I usually just kind of watch them and I have autonomous romance on so sometimes like they will get freaky like they will just decide like you know what we're feeling it today we're gonna go you know do more after i make out but it looks like they want to play football so that's what we're gonna let them do wish they would have made it a fun ringtone well you know jane back when this game was out cell phones were barely a thing i mean cell phones are in this game because we did have them but it wasn't like everyone had a cell phone like you still had your house phone that was the main thing you used I have to head out soon, so I'm going to say bye before I have to leave. We will, Koneko. Don't worry. Thank you so much for the lurk. Really appreciate it. And um, and you have fun sticking around for as much as you can until it cuts to go. <clears throat> well, Jane, I need um, I need a, a Jane update. I need a Jane update. I guess while we're kind of watching them, I can go at least get the Jane. our tarot deck we use kawaii tarot so if others want tarot readings too we'll do some of those um when we're in between this house and the so if other people want to read these but i love this deck that on this one Sometimes I'll, if they do a certain thing too long, I'll stop them to make them go to the next one. I think, and I think this is the still life. Like, I think this is the thing. That would be the second painting. But I just can't remember. It was so long ago we did this part of this. Baby and I just had mac and cheese, and I spent way too much money on a chair today. Oh! Well, Jane, I spent um, way too much money recently, too. Um, I have a big girl Switch now, so we can stream some Switch. It'll be really fun. All right, you guys. Why don't you do something? Toss the football. <clears throat> oh, he's going to go answer the phone. I want to talk to Darren. He is busy living his dream. When is the AC start? I don't know. Darren available. Oh, but it's Cassandra. <gasps> I do think he should pause and talk to Cassandra. So Cassandra is, um, I had her marry, um, that one dude, right? The Don Lothario. But he and, um, Darren are also actually in love. And if you have them kiss, which I did lock for kissing Cassandra, then they will fall in love and you can have her and him together instead of having her with the cheater cheater on Lothario. 
Um, oh, shit. Uh, want to go downtown. I'm so sorry. I can't go, Cassandra, but maybe later. Maybe later. Five followers, primes, and viewers at my stream store. What? Oh, my word. Thank you, Kitty. <clears throat> All right, we have him continue. Go out and not just. What are you doing, lady? Oh, really? All that? You better not cause trouble. You've been a big troublemaker. All right. No, I mean, now that I'm looking at it, I think this might be his first painting in not life. I don't remember. What are you doing? Wood. Kind of hungry. Left it. I must have really just barely played this house when we played. Must have just gotten it started, and that was. It. Um. Why don't you serve mac and cheese? Rika! <clears throat> Got more creep. <laughs> Alright, does he have... He already did. He did do something. Like, spending all this time on the, this painting really does, like, do, like his... He's gonna have to pee afterwards before he starts the next one. Like, takes forever. But this is the game kind of trying to teach you about, like, how the skills work and things like that, you know? I started a new Sims file a few weeks ago, but it made me mad and I stopped. Mine always glitches in annoying ways. I'd rather watch you. Oh my god, kitty. That's kind of, uh, that's kind of, like, bittersweet, right? I'm sorry your Sims file didn't work out. What version do you play on? Do you play on 2, 3, or 4? I mean, no, nobody really plays Sims anymore. What do you play on? Okay, it's complete. Yay. Oh. Done with his um, first painting. Yeah. Oh, he went upstairs. <clears throat> oh, you got Sobble. Oh, I love that for a starter for you. You'll like it, Jane. You'll like Sobble. Good one. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the follow, Voodoo. Is that how you want me to say your name, Voodoo? All right, why don't you do this? You can sell the painting, um, eat some mac and cheese, and then you'll have to do the next painting. I have to pretend play with Sobble so much. Sobble's my son's fave. Ah! Yes, Voodoo, awesome. Okay, I got it. Well, thank you so much for following. Um, to kind of let you know, I'm a variety streamer. We do a variety of things. I like to play simulations, dating sims, and other chill games. On Thursdays, we really do like more of a, a gaming stream like this. It's just me. You know, we just, me and you guys kind of hang out. On Saturdays, um, I do more of a podcast style stream. So most of the time, I'm discussing a topic with my friend Landon, who's my typical co-host. But that's also, because that's like a more people stream, that's also when we do... Um, the uh, like community days and things like that where you guys can play too. I got a sea launcher. I'm pokey rich. Yeah, a launcher. Um, did you play Boyfriend Dungeon? I absolutely played Boyfriend Dungeon. When it first came out, I did a first impressions of Boyfriend Dungeon and I played through it. 
and then um, I played the rest on my own, but you can find on my YouTube channel the episode. Um, it's a really good game. I've considered um, potentially going back and like doing a whole run through so I can show you guys all the storylines in Boyfriend Dungeon. Um, the problem is, is like I'm bad at video games. So the combat part is actually not as fun to watch from me because I'm so not good at it. But I did beat it. Like I did manage to beat it. Like it wasn't a difficult game. Just, you know, I'm bad at video games. Okay, why don't you, yeah, be kissed. Oh, ACR, there we go, perfect. I love the autonomous roaming. They're gonna autonomous roam. Yeah, you go in the Discord server to do the Pokey Daily, um, Kitty. One of their Discord server channels, and it'll give you money. <clears throat> cry on the couch with me. <laughs> when he goes back to school, I have to promise to let Sobble cry on the couch all day with me. Oh my gosh, that's too cute. Too cute. Oh my word. Alright. So. Monday. Like, I feel like I'm. They must have done the other painting already, and this was just. But I didn't see the pop up, and he's already got this many points. He had to have done two. There's no way. It was definitely done at least two. Done the two. So I think this was what we wanted to do for him. Um, that's all good. So they can have some autonomous room. So. Let me ask you guys. Let me ask you guys about this. <clears throat> let me ask you guys about this. Should I call Cassandra over and give her a kiss, even though she literally got married, like when we were playing the Goth household? So she like literally just got married. She's having her honeymoon night, trying to have a baby with her new husband. Should I call her over and give her a smooch? I feel like maybe I should. So Kitty, if you scroll down to the about about. Um, you'll see there's a new panel for the Pokemon chat game in my about section. And um, and you can set your buddy in there by like clicking on it. And there's like a heart icon or something like that. I can't remember exactly, but it's down there. <clears throat> go for the drama. I feel like I should go for the drama too. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And while he's doing that, um, you can pay all of the bills. Your, your dad earned the money. You're the responsible one. Okay, yes. Um, invite over. Hopefully it's not too late in the day. All right, son, go pay all your bills for your dad while he um, invites over his crush. Tries to convince her to leave her husband. <coughs> Did this love triangle oiled and strike the mat? Yeah, and they have a thousand simoleons now. Like, I must have. I must have done the other painting on the other stream. That has to be. So he'll go around and gather up all the bills and we'll pay them. And that's basically what you're supposed to do. Like the whole point of this household is Maxis is trying to teach you that um, you don't have to get a job to for money. You can also do things like painting to get money. Now it's slow, of course, um, but you can do that. You can also write novels um, to get money and things like that. So I guess Lilith was really hungry. She ate a second bowl. See there? Ah! And they kiss. And then, like, their relationship is good then when that happens. Like, that's that causes them to you know, do all that. Like, Cassandra will fall in love with him. Um, what does this say? Yeah, so there we go. Now she's in love. She's in love. So she is married a cheater, and now she's a cheater. That's fun. <laughs> so that's fun. <clears throat> all right, what are you guys doing? Oh, there we go. I knew they were going to. They always do eventually. So they're doing that autonomously because I have um, autonomous romance. So they go to relax and they're gonna they're gonna do the the hanky panky. <clears throat> right, we clap for them. You did it, Lilith. We're gonna let them do that. We'll save. This household. Before we go to the pleasant household, we'll do a little tarot reading. And uh, so if anybody else has tarot cards, why you tarot deck? We're gonna do um, Jacob's question. 
Yeah, softball's good. There we go. This is first, their first time. Good diva. Now, is he the cheater for kissing Cassandra? So, Darren um, here, he's not a cheater. But Cassandra's married, so he basically just called over this woman who literally, in the way the timeline works, she just got married the other day. She just got married, was trying to get pregnant with um her baby, with a baby with her new husband. And then, like, right after that, literally, Darren calls her over and gives her a big old smooch. And then she realizes, oh, no, I love Darren. <clears throat> all right, you can all leave. It's okay. I'm in the shower. Um, why don't you ask Cassandra to leave? The sleeping. <clears throat> Where are you going, lady? Where are you going? Dirk's cool with it. He's cool with his dad um, romancing a, a woman that just got married. All right, why don't you also the way the leftovers? You don't rot the food. <clears throat> How will things at work go in the next few months? Okay. Let's find out. About five minutes. Thing on the porch is valid. Okay. All right. I'm going to save this lot. All right. Switch back to webcam only for a second. While that's saving, with the neighborhood. All right, while that neighborhood's loading, let's see. Jacob's question was exact. How will my future end up? Let's find out. How will my future end up? So, we're going to ask the Kawaii Tarot how will Jacob's future end up? So, Jacob, do you have a time frame? That you're asking for is this like a, a five-year future is this like a oh. i know i can ask otherwise i'm gonna let the yeah. five years okay five years what do we think why you care about jacob's future five years all right <clears throat> Okay. Um Well, I don't know what exactly this means, but it is right side up at least. I'm going to go read about it, but um this this is what it says. Now, usually does, this does not mean like literal. Zero decks aren't literal, but let me just go just go read. Let me see what it what it thinks. Jacob, I don't know what you did to upset the tarot deck. I don't know what you did, my friend. I think the Kawaii Tarot is, is at it. Okay, let me let me let me vibe a little bit. See what I think this means. I don't think it means it's literal. Okay, I will say that it's not literal. <laughs> All right. So I think probably what this really means is that sometime in the next five years, you're going to have like a major change up. So Jacob, I know um, it's been a minute since we've talked and so we don't know each other super well. So I don't know if like maybe um, you're married or you like have had a long term job that you've been doing or like you have a really close relationship like you've known since like high school or something like that. But the way I'm interpreting it is, is something that's been stable in your life is gonna have a major change. But this doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. Change can be really good, right? Change can reinvigorate, change can be needed and necessary. So sometime in the next five years, you're gonna have a, a major change, I think, in something that has been persistent in your life um, for the past long while. You got five years, you got five years to that happen. Um, good luck, my friend. good luck. I hope it's a good change. 
keep hanging out with me for five years and get back to me. I have a major change. In some All right. Um, Jane says, how will things go in the next few, how will things at work go in the next few months? All right. How will things at work go in the next few months? Our friend Jane here. <clears throat> Jane, remind the chat what you do it again. If you do not mind, if you want to say in, in general, I just want to know how, if, how detailed you want me. Yeah. I don't want to reveal anything you don't want to reveal. So I'll lean on you for what you want to put in the chat for how, what your job is. Sounds about right. There'll be a change within the next. I hope it's a good change. I hope it's not a bad change. All right. How will Jane's job go over the next few? <clears throat> gonna find. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Teacher and I run the entire summer program. Yes. Okay. Teacher and she is a, a summer summer school teacher extraordinaire. Okay, let's see. We are pulling like major arcana today. We have got a right side up hierophant. Okay? Right side up hierophant. So let me see what my little book says. Oh, what you think that means. A little bit confused getting this knowing like kind of what's going on in your life right now I'm not gonna lie so I just wanted to but yeah this card is kind of about tradition and um status quo and things of that nature. Um, it's about following orders or following what you're supposed to be doing based on what kind of society thinks of you. Um, and, uh, and based on what's going on in your life, I know that there will be a time over the next couple of months that you are probably not working anymore or working a lot less. And I think what this is basically saying is like, this is what you're meant to do the world like this is what the world is pushing you towards and um and you're on kind of that that path that matches with everyone's expectations and kind of like what you should do now whether that's a good thing or a bad thing for what you want um i, I don't think the hero fan really says whether that's good or bad i just think it's kind of like that particular force of like this is what you're meant to do that helps I hope that was enlightening and helpful for um, for what you're going through and what you know. Okay, those were some really interesting ones today. Usually the Kawaii Tarot deck is very kind. I feel like it was a little intense today. Um, I don't know what that's about. Maybe like my energy is really intense because we're dealing with the you know purchasing the new house and everything and. And stressful. I'm not gonna lie. Like, even though it's exciting, it's stressful. You know what I mean? Maybe my energy is intense a little bit. <clears throat> it really did. It was like, all right, want some truth? I don't think you can handle the truth, but here it is. <clears throat> Pretty much what the deck said today. All right, here we go. If anyone else wants Kawaii Tarot while well, it's in a snarky mood, y'all let me know. But we're going to go back to Sims. Okay. And the house we're going to play next is, let's see, where are they? Not oldie. We're going to go, here we go. We're going to go over to the Pleasance. Let's go over to the Pleasance. The Pleasance house is really fun. This is like quintessential Sims. Like the Goths and the Pleasance, I feel like, are the Sims 2 family. So if you know much about Sims 2 lore and or Sims lore in general, like you know what's up with the Pleasance. You know what's up. So here we go. Here we freaking go. We already met Lilith because we were at her boyfriend's house. Last stream we met um our uh our other pleasant uh sister. Shoot, what is her name? Not Lilith, the other one. The one the green dress one. I can't remember. Look at her name. 
Um, so we met her through her boyfriend. You know, but we're, now we're going to see them together. Angela, that's right, Angela. We're going to see them together. Little bug. Yeah, Ninjask is really cute. Uh, okay, here we go. All right, so who says good help is hard to find? Daniel has his eye on the maid and wants a little romance. But will his decision threaten family unity? So you can see here, um, first join, he has some wants to woohoo with um, Catherine, but he also wants to kiss his wife. Okay. Um, you can see that, uh, that she also wants to have some interaction with Daniel. And she wants to get a promotion at her work. However, their marriage is really on the rocks. Like they're married, they're still best friends and they're still friends, but they are not, um, they don't have a crush anymore. They're not in love anymore. But like Daniel has crushed and in love with it made Kaylin. Also the sisters, the way this works, they are negative 50 with each other. You can see there, they freaking hate each other. And Lilith really hates her parents. Like she is the bad girl. Okay. Angela has an okay relationship with her parents. Not too good, but not too bad. So that's this household. Um, and she really wants to get an A plus report card and she really wants to sneak out with her boyfriend. Um, cause that's what, she, that's what her love. So you're trying to keep the sisters from fighting too much. Um, while kind of playing out what's going on with, uh, Daniel and Mary Sue over here. They have a little kiss. They have a little kiss. And you can have him, um, do more. You can see kind of they'll, they're like, okay. She's like, okay. We have a crush now. Let's give him, let's do another chance. I'll do that autonomously. And you can have them do that a little bit more. But pretty soon, Mary Sue is going to go to work, and the girls are going to go to school, and Daniel is going to be all alone. Um, so you can kind of watch the girls fight, or you can try to keep them separated. So one of the things you can do to keep them separated is have them work on various, like, skills or whatever. So that's, like, an easy thing to do. You know, she wants to gain a skill point. You can have her, like, practice romance, right? You can have her, like, I don't know, study something. She doesn't really want to do any skill points, but she's, like, a party pants. Maybe she can study. Are the kids twins? Yes. The girls are twins. The girls are twins. Oh, and like Angela's dress, that green dress. It's really cute, right? I actually, I really like both of the girls' designs. I think they're really nice. So usually having them work on skill points is the easiest way. As it's just a few minutes until the bus comes. And then they will go to school. Have them stop doing whatever they were working on. Then Mary Sue, you can see, will go to work. So she's currently an intern. She's in the political career an intern or some kind of politician then daniel is home all alone <clears throat> it's appropriate that it's raining today so i'm glad the game did that for us because <laughs> it is a gonna be a dark day in the pleasant household you can see daniel's a romance sim the sims lore he is a he is a big old cheater he's a big old cheater he does what he wants with who he wants and his main squeeze is Kaylin, not his wife. <clears throat> We're just going to kind of wait a second for the maid to get here. Let Daniel do what he wants to do. He wants to watch a movie. He does have some wants down here to get a mechanical Christmas. I guess we could have him practice romance for that charisma skill point. At least we're fulfilling a want. If you guys remember from this, basically the way I play The Sims is I typically either let them be autonomous... Or if I need to take care of their needs, I will. But most of what I really enjoy doing is making sure, is like filling in these wants. Like, I kind of like use the wants as like them telling me what they would do. So that's kind of where that is. I need to see if I, if I did this also. I must have like pre or actually playing. They're all filled in. Got one more. Um, we can do Yeah, let's do hockey. Give her a real world place in mind where they live, or you don't think about it. Um, do you mean like do I imagine like where in the world they might live? Like a certain city or something like that? Because uh, no, I don't. <laughs> I think of Pleasant View as like its own place that exists in the Sims world and it's like, you know. Like a, like a, the kind of town you would have for a role play, you know? Think of it like that. Know why Kaylin's taking? 
swear they have him. They have her. I like it as an RP town. Yeah, yeah, like that. Like, exactly. I don't really think of it as a certain place. When do maids come? Ten a.m. Okay, so she'll be here. And the place isn't very messy, so she won't take long. There she is. Kitty was so rambunctious all day. Yep, so now I'm done. Would you like to hang out? Always say yes. Absolutely. Yeah, I'd like to hang out. And then what you're going to do is you're going to have Daniel go relax. How you make everything. They'll have romantic interactions. But what you want to do, get them in the bed. Ask to join. Where the heck is asked to join? Uh, let's see. There we go. Ask Kaylee. There she goes. And you don't want them to woohoo right away because the timing won't work. So usually have them huddle for a second. Let's huddle. Kick out. And we'll do a <clears throat> In the rain. They don't hear. Oh, Daniel. Dirty rotten scoundrel. So even though they've clearly been sleeping together ah. in the game's code, this still behaves like a, a first time for them. So, okay. Roller has a stack of paperwork on his desk that Mary Sue has been asked to read through and assign priority levels to the tasks. About halfway through the stack, she finds some speech Roller has been asked to edit. Mary Sue has an okay eye for syntax, and she knows how busy the controller is. She could try editing them herself or scan the speech with the word processor and run the grammar on them. So um, I'm going to choose grammar check, I think. It, it's bad no matter what, is the spoiler. Okay, so Mary Sue scans the documents, plugs them into her word processor, and lets the built-in grammar check do its thing. Upon completion, she sends the documents off to the controller without even double-checking, trusting the wisdom of Microscotch's grammar check. Apparently, the controller, trusting in Mary Sue, sent the speeches off without reviewing them either, because a few hours later, the controller gets an irate phone call from someone at the legislator's office. It seems as though the grammar check somehow managed to replace the entire contents of one of the speeches with the first two acts of Titus Andronicus. And as, in, and as inexplicable as it may be, Mary Sue is fired for her mistake. So, poor Mary Sue. And um, we are going to wake up. we to have them get caught. Oh, y'all hear the sound. Sound of her getting fired. And um, she goes into aspiration failure if she gets fired. Um... The fortune sim, so it's very upsetting for her. And then wake up, because they need to get caught. Yep. Hear the noise. Must I must have done it too quick. 
They're going to have to get back in bed. Relax. Ask him. Terrible day. He gets cheated on. He lost, loses her job. I think if you choose the other one, instead of getting fired, she gets um, demoted. Like, basically, she only ever gets fired or she gets demoted. There we go. They're going to woohoo. I did it too quick. Like it's not. There we go. Now she's out of love. Oh, she's gonna go into aspiration failure again. She wants a divorce. He is caught. You can see she has it queued up to go slap him. I'm gonna let her do that as soon as it lets her. But um, poor thing. Sandra also will come over. That's her best friend. Uh, at this point. <clears throat> All right, Daniel, why don't you, why don't you get dressed? I don't know why you're telling me. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Look, brought a friend home. Okay. Well, they just walked into disaster. Those poor little girls. Those poor little girls walked into disaster. So there she goes. She's going to run around. She's going to slap Daniel. gonna get dressed um now you can have daniel sweet talk her and they can make up okay and get back together but i do not like to do that i let, like to have um daniel go actually go with caleb and not stay with mary sue so we are gonna have them break up goodbye Goodbye, Daniel. Yep, so they're divorced. They're done. Um, Daniel is going to move out. That is how I like to play it. Where's their phone? Their phone is... There it is. So we're going to have him... Call. No, it's the newspaper. Find own post. So Daniel's gonna get the F out. <clears throat> punishes the cheater and not the mistress. Oh, it punishes both. I mean, Mary Sue is not happy with Kaylin. You can see she's very mad at Kaylin and mad at Daniel. He is mad at both of them. That's pretty typical. You have to mod it to make that not happen. So she's just going to have a really bad time, but she's going to go and um, greet Cassandra and hang out with her, bed, her buddy. And Cassandra can give her all the juicy gossip about how she just got married, but then Darren kissed her and she realized, like, oh no. Okay, this is the other thing I definitely like to do, is I like to have, because um, Angela's going to, and, and uh, them are going to be mad at Kaylin as well, being a homewrecker. Um, so you can see, like, they have poor relationship. Um, so, I like to have Angela go and tell Kaylin to get out. Because if you don't, she'll, like, literally just wander around your house. <laughs> so, that's what I like to do. What are you doing, Mary Sue? Did you ever make it to talking to your friend? Oh. So since she's a fortune sim and she's in such aspiration failure, she'll go panhandle. Where the heck did Cassandra go? Did she already leave? I miss her. Was I not quick enough and she got fed up with me? I don't see her. Why don't you call her then? Call Cassandra. Yeah, I missed her. I was too slow. 
I was busy slapping Daniel instead of talking to my friend. <laughs> Poor Mary Sue. <clears throat> and the girls are fighting again, as they like to do. They'll just, like, do this all the time. <clears throat> I don't know where they put their homework. Yeah, Cassandra, you want to... Probably put it upstairs. Cassandra's gonna come over. This is the girls' bedrooms, by the way. This house is shaped so weird. Um. Okay, because Andra... Um... Angela wants to get an A-plus report card. I'll have her do her homework. I can do that. It's on some table somewhere, I'm sure. Find the homework. Mark. Where'd you put it? You're not going to get no A plus report card if you lose your homework. Oh yeah, they have a real they have real fight fights. Like it's awful. They really hate each other. Get him out. The homework is I'm not going to search for this for you. I wanted her to do it. I don't know. On some. Always do. One more time. They typically won't do their homework on their own. So I really only have them do it. They won't do it autonomously. A plus report card, I feel like, counts. So I take that as, like, she wants to do her homework. But, like, girl, if you're disorganized, you can't keep up with it, I guess you don't want to do your homework. Oh. <laughs> wants to sneak out with dirt. Maybe she can call him. I think Sims can make a lot of money selling their art in real life. Oh yeah, I think they could too. For sure. Can't get out of my head. I really want to find that. I don't know where it is. It's driving me kind of crazy. I'll probably watch the VOD back and I'll see it. I'll see myself like skip over it 50 times. Like it's right there, Karen.
guess I'll pay more attention the next day with what they do with my ether ball. Lost to the ether ball. Alright, 10 minutes. Probably be good. Follow. <laughs> Angela doesn't. Have Oh no! Oh, they're gonna do it too! Another autonomous romance. Oh my god. In Daniel and Mary Sue's bed. That's just great. Probably because the girls have twin beds. They can't do that upstairs. Oh no. Oh no, you guys. While Mary Sue is distracted with Cassandra. Oh my word. In the parents' bed. Lilith, Lilith is supposed to be the bad one, but oh my god, Angela. Oh my god, Angela. Wow, girl. Wow. Yeah, Mary Sue's probably not gonna notice. Probably not gonna notice, because she's in the other room. Poor thing. Poor thing. Oh my gosh. I love ACR. I love ACR. <laughs> or ARC. Autonom autonomous Romance. Uh, no, A it is ACR. Autonomous Casual Romance. Alright. So really doing the breakout stuff, breakup stuff is, um, is what you do for this household. So we're going to go ahead and save the Pleasants. So let's go into save. And remember, I like to move Daniel out. I'm going to move Daniel into another place. It's going to be a different lot, and I like to pair him up with Kaylin. I feel like, you know, Kaylin started this out as, uh, you know, as one somebody that's sleeping with Dawn and sleeping with Daniel. And um, after, you know, um, Dawn gets married to Cassandra, she kind of like makes her choice of saying, like, okay, I'm not going to go with Dawn. You know, it, I'm going to go with the serial monogamous Daniel Pleasant instead. And I'm going to play it like that. That's what I like to do. So you're going to find that he's in the bin now because he moved out. So I want to move him into one of these condos. He's got 20. There's this one, 16, 17. So I'm going to move him into this one, I think. Pretty sure this is Don Lothario's old condo before... Uh, he moved out into the goth's house when he got married to Cassandra. I'm going to move him into... Pretty sure this is Don's old condo. I'm going to put him in here. I'm going to get him and Kaylin all together. I'm going to make her playable instead of just a maid. Get them started. The garbage can is still knocked over from his jilted lovers. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so Daniel's moved in. I have a mod that keep, keeps all of Dawn's stuff here. So, you know, we start out with some stuff, which is why I put him in this house. You know, Dawn doesn't need his stuff anymore. He's rich now. So um, let's see what, what we want to... Scott wants where he wants to gain a skill point, do a public move. With three different sims. I like to play him as a serial monogamer, so I'm more likely to lock like this type of want as opposed to these like multiples. Um, but his lifetime want and his lifetime want is to become a Hall of Famer. So he is in the he's an assistant coach, he's level eight here. So that's basically how I play him. He is a romance sim, so he'll run roll a lot of wants for you know 
sleeping with multiple different people and having lots of partners, but I will typically play him as a serial monogamist instead. Kind of like what I'm interested in. So what we're going to do... <clears throat> after he picks that up, I like to start with going on a date with Kaylin. We're going to have a serious talk with Kaylin, our main squeeze, right, on this date. No. Yes. Why don't you... Yeah, we're going to go to a community lot. Shower looks dirty, but it's not something I can eat. Might have to just buy a new shower. That looks really gross. Like it looks like it's dirty, but there's no option to clean it. Oh no. That's what the shower is supposed to look like. I guess he has to dock that. Okay. We've got ever popular Doc Allen's hangout. We've got a roller rink. Community center. Local businesses. Bookstore. Eat. Coffee shop. Um, I put a church on here. Pets. Um, I think we want to go to the park. Let's go to the park. Hey, Daniel. Let's go. We're gonna we're gonna take our lady to the park. Let's see what the conversation. Bye. All is right with the bathroom. <clears throat> Go to the park. So, Daniel just got a divorce, broke up with his wife. His wife is distraught because she also just lost her job on top of that. <clears throat> So let's see. Let's see what, what can happen with Miss Kaylin. All right, we're going to lock in that public woohoo. I think we're going to eventually go fulfill that. Right now, I'm really mostly worried about the date. Uh, we need to talk seriously. <laughs> oh my gosh, madam, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you so much, my friend. Um, we are in the middle of a Sims 2 Pleasant View playthrough. We just played the beginning of The Pleasant House where Daniel um, breaks up with his wife because he cheats on her with this lovely lady right here, Aelin. So I like to play Daniel as a serial monogamist. So we're gonna, you know, we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk to Kaylin. We're having a date with her right now. And, um, you know, that's what, we're, that's what we're doing. All right, we're gonna do a dirty joke. Oh, that conversation did not go well. Not go well so far. Play, let's do play. Oh yeah, all kinds of drama. Uh, no, you've not talked to the charlatan, dude. Clearly they have a very physical connection. The talking is not, you know, it's not going so good. The talking's not going so um, but whenever we do things like this, hello fight, it goes pretty well. And you can see here, she wants to get married. So like, Kaylin has been on the prowl, been going for the wrong kind of guys, but ultimately she wants to get married. Right? And she, I guess she sees Daniel as like a stable kind of person. So we've got dance, we've got a pre-date. Let's do, let's do a dance, actually. Madam, what were you doing in your stream? Like, what were, tell me about what, um, 
I assume you were doing some crafting. Shout out to. Y'all are not following Madam MG. What are you doing? She does a bunch of crafting. Um, she plays fun games. She's an overall really chill. Just, cool yeah, person. I was just really into cool it. If you like my content, you'd like hers. Here we go. Let's watch it. Oh god, that was a bad mistake. Maybe there's a water flowing. I'm not making it. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> I guess I should just let it take me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> make it over oh god, here. I almost died. <laughs> My poor coat, I just bought it. <laughs> Yeah, if you like my content, I know you will like Madam MG's too. Definitely go. I can't get a video. Okay, the date is not going so well. We're gonna try to fix it. Uh, they want to make out. Let's have. Let's let them make out. Stop the dance! Come on, we have to save this date. Go better. Yes, there we go. Time added. Back rub. That. Oh, now she wants to woohoo too. <laughs> You're good, kitty. No worries, my friend. No worries. You helped earlier with the with catching the. We're all good. Got a little birdhouse. Oh, a birdhouse that looks like a toad. Oh, that's so cool. What kind of do you have birds in your yard, madam? Do you know like what kind? Okay, good. We got some time back on the day. He rolls propose again, I think. Is Gonna check out the new werewolf pack for Sims 4? Probably not. I really can't stand Sims 4. Sorry. Um, yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't handle Sims 4. I just, I'm a Sims 2 kind of girl, you know? I don't, and I don't hate Sims 3, but like, I just, I hate Sims 4. Oh, thank you! Guys, um, Levi was making some boiled peanuts and he just brought me a little sample to taste. Mm. Talk to that girl when you want to, you're on a date, Daniel. Oh, I think she has to go to the bathroom. That's what, that's what he's doing. Letting her go to the bathroom. Or for decoration in the real house, it'd be fun to do a real one. Oh, I see. I see. You should try to do a real one at some point. That would be cool. Fight it, Joseph. I really used to three, but two was great. I understand. I don't hate three. It's just, you know, I just love two. I love two. Um, I like three. Can't stand four. I don't have an issue with one either. It's just, you know. Um, they want to make up. Just that, you know, two's the best. Two's my favorite one by far. I love it. I love it modded. You know, two are the best community. They're really good, by the way. You want some bowl of peanuts? Hang out at my house. We got some bowl of peanuts. Third more. We're gonna make this a dream date, you guys. When it's a dream date, we're gonna strike. We're gonna get to dream date even if she hasn't rolled it yet. Rolled the proposed ice cream again yet. Know why you want to go swing? Busy. There we go. Hey. Okay. You guys ready? You guys ready for Mr. Cereal? Immediately after the divorce, oh, marrying the woman. Oh, Father Cielo. Oh, Weevo. Those are good, Levi. The bull peanuts, they were really good. You're welcome. Okay, so they are engaged. No, I understand. That was just a sample. All right, let's let them do the autonomy.
That's good. Yeah. Thank you for the applause, Kitty. You're missing, you're missing Daniel um, getting engaged to Kayla. There we go. They got engaged. He wants to get married, but it's it's a dream date, so we're just gonna kind of let the date. Um. Yeah, in the date while it's in dream. Wow, that was the best time I've ever had with anybody. Really want to go out with you again. Please, oh please, oh please. I can't wait to tell all my friends. This, of course, isn't really a scripted event or anything from Maxis. This is just like what I like to do. I think it's really fun for Daniel to have this type of personality so that he's like a different type of annoying cheater from Don Lothario. <laughs> so that's kind of like how I play them differently. Whereas, because they're both romance sims, you can end up kind of playing them the same without really thinking too much about it. How I try to keep them. Is there anywhere to do public meetings? <clears throat> Maybe go somewhere where there's a um photo booth or something. There isn't one. That's okay. It was a nice date. <laughs> he just can't get enough. All right. What are you doing, girl? He's on a date with Kaylin. It's time to go home. It's time to go home, Daniel. Oh, we're gonna... He just can't get enough. He's going to go back and kiss her, even though he's trying to go home from the date. All right, it's time to go home, Daniel. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll see Kaylin again soon. Or again soon. <clears throat> the taxi gonna leave without you, my friend. There he goes. Jane, did you see the Pleasant's house? You want me to catch you up what happened and kind of how we ended up with Jane? We'll speed forward this because y'all know I have the mod that when they're away, it, you can come back and play the rest of the household. So it's going to speed him through the next time he was at the park. Like the end. Of the I'll let that go. So, that so the pleasant household, actually, that we were playing before that we just moved Daniel out of, that's kind of the last household as far as like the pre made households that have like actual events that you're supposed to do. Um, now there are two more households that come in the bin for Sims 2, and I like to use those households as well. Like, I like to have them in the game. You know, I think it's nice having those extra ones there. And I'm going to show those to you guys as well, so that we can, and show you kind of how I play those. Gosh, he was at that park for a long time. Oh no, I need to turn her off. Where's my bush? I've done that on this. 
Rest are fine. Rest are fine. That's a mod that I have. Band lady, get out. Need you. Gosh, Daniel, you're at the park all freaking day. It was a long date. not bugged the flickering oh this is a um it's music there we go he has a day off today why is he not coming back to the house I hadn't been gone for 24 hours for some reason. But he likes cool jazz. Probably Daniel would like cool jazz. Valid for him. This thing did say 24 hours. Try not to think it's bugged just yet. Hope it's not. I hope we don't. That would be a bummer. Oh, no, here he is. Okay. Did not lose. Thank God. getting your bill. The only mail they ever get is bills. Pay them down. You'd be in an amazing mood with your amazing date got engaged again immediately after getting into bills. Alright. Let's save this lot. We're gonna go back. Oh yeah, it plays salsa by default. But you can change the channel for it to play other things. Catch. All right, let's go back out. <clears throat> so I already moved these other two families in. Show you what they are. We're going to get them started as well. Okay, so we've got... Okay, so it's Burb and Oldie. So Oldie right here lives across from the park. I like to put them in this house. They are actually the parents of Mary Sue. So Mary Sue Pleasant that we just played, this is her parents. And Burb, Burb is just another um, a f extra family that comes with uh, Pleasant View. So we're going to go into the oldie household first. The oldies are simply one of the nicest families around. Their years together through good and bad have made them wonderful people. They are today. This is what I like to do with the oldies. This is how I like to get them started. Because these two families, you have to move them in. They don't really have like scripted events the way the other ones do, where it's like certain things happen if you, you can trigger certain things. Um, and it's all very predictable. They're not programmed in that way. When it comes to the oldies, this is what I like to do. Um, I like to have Lilith move in with them. Like, in, the way I imagine it is that they, after Mary Sue and Daniel got divorced, and Mary Sue was, like, so freaking depressed and couldn't handle what happened to her. She lost her job, you know, awful, awful, awful situation for her. Um, because Lilith has such a terrible relationship with her parents already, he was struggling just way too much. And she can't handle it. And so it is like, Mom, you're a wreck, and I'm going to go live with my grandparents. So we're going to have that happen. Um, now you can see, like, they have a lot of wants and things. I didn't lock anything in for them. Um, and it's funny, they're actually not in love, but 
if you uh, have them have a ro some romantic uh, interactions, then they will fall in love. So you can see they have a lot of lightning bolts. They have two lightning bolts with each other. So they have a lot of chemistry, but they're not like not in love for whatever reason. I'm not really quite sure why the the game has them programmed that way. I don't think that's right. He wants to flirt with her. <clears throat> and we're going to make sure that they fall in love. Yeah, so there we go. Now they are now they are in love. Have her flirt one more time. Okay. And he is a romance sim. She's a romance sim um, with popularity for secondary. She is a family sim with popularity for secondary. So they'll Aurora wants about wanting to throw parties and things like that as well, which he actually did. He he well he no, it's by a bar. But he will roll roll once for wanting to have a party. So let's do buy him a bar. I think he's they're old. They want to spend their money, you know? They want to have fun. Um, so I think that's what him to do. Here's a bar. Like the green square one, this one at the end, it's like bright green. Pretty good. Pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Bar right there. Wants to gain some skill points. What we're gonna do first, even though they don't have wants for it. I was just making sure certain things were set up. Okay, fabulous. We also need to get them a phone because they are gonna they are gonna uh, have Lily. They're gonna talk to her, and uh, and in my mind, like they call her, and this is like their plan that they kind of convince Lilith that like this is the right thing, and um, and Lilith is very happy about it. They convince Mary Sue that this is the right thing. We're going to call Lilith and we're going to invite the whole household. I don't know why they take the long way around, why they don't just go this way. They went through all that craziness. Thank you, kitty. Okay, so we're going to call Lilith. We're going to invite household. And Herb is cool with this. Mary Sue. Herb is cool with this, but it's really like it's really like her pushing it. She's a family sim, right? But Herb is cool with it too. Wants to get Let them use the let's set up the humble bee. They need They don't need nothing too They definitely have, you know, a Why don't open this while she everybody? Right. So, yeah. 
might not spend too much money. That one's good. That looks good. And she's still an aspiration failure, poor thing. But it's okay. Because she is here to try to make her feel better. Let's talk. Have her talk with her daughter for a little bit. So the reason why, so if you notice, Herb and Coral don't really look like Mary Sue much at all. And if you look in the genetics, they don't share genetics with her. Um, so she's adopted. Mary Sue was actually adopted by Herb and Coral Olby. Um, that was something that, uh, that they... That's how they Alright. Let's go talk to Lilith. Because we also we need to um get our um relationship up with. I like to get their relationship up a little bit, and then I was just making sure the cat was it. Then I will cheat and do the move in to Lilith, but that way. I think that's the best way to actually make this function the way it would in reality. So <laughs> she is chatting with Lilith, trying to get the relationship up a little bit, and it just take the plan. No, things are hard right now. Too so at it. Jobs are at one of these jobs. You Journalism. Not one of the ones. Yes, he still wants to work a little in his gamer. No, that's not what he wants. He wants music, slacker, or entertainment. Okay, let's do that. Sure. Job and entertainment. Wants to go play with her. Catch. Probably go talk to Mary Sue. Talk to Mary Sue. You talk to Lily. Talk to Mary Sue one more time. Mm. Yeah, see, they ain't, they ain't really getting along. Really getting along. <clears throat> Why Mary Sue doesn't already have good relationships with them, I don't really understand. But uh, she doesn't. I think that was an error, probably, on Maxis's part. I feel like Mary Sue should have already had good Oh, welcome, Wagon is here. Alright. So, we're going to do our little cheaty cheat. Lilith in, move in, Lilith pleasant. There we go. Now Lilith is part of this household. She still wants to sneak out with Dirk. We're gonna try to make that happen. Living with her grandparents. So, you know. <laughs> uh, we're gonna see. We're gonna see how to, if we can make all that happen. <clears throat> Let them chit chat with you. <laughs> so 
we'll see if we can have Lilith sneak out tonight. Seen it all. I don't know, maybe her grandparents are just chill. Maybe they're just chill, but we'll, we'll let her sneak out. I, wanna, I think let's play until it gets to 10. They can sneak out, so we'll let these people sneak out. Um, To meet. These are actually the burbs that we're gonna check out, um, try to check out next. And we know Darren. This is probably good for Mary Sue. Helpful for her. Alright. Uh, that, she wants to throw a party. Eight. Why don't we stop playing football? Want to boo-hoo, make a friend. Why do you want to flirt with Jennifer? Oh my god. Romance sims. Romance sims, I swear. Herbs are crazy. Maybe we should ask her to leave. Probably not a good idea. Uh, let's see. Ask. Yeah, say goodbye to Jennifer. I'm too attracted to you, Jennifer. You have to leave. Bye, Burbs. Is you're too tempting. Right, but we can let them win. Let them win. There we go. Now you'll be romantic with it. I think Grandma should make some. Oh, Lilith's gonna raid the fridge. Oh wait, I had Lilith. I think I was on Lilith. I meant to have Grandma go make it. Lilith can make it. Right. Oh, Pokemon in the tree. The table and chairs now that they got. Sure. Can't not have a little kitchen table. talking about the weather. It's true, it's true. Yeah, tiny table. We're going to put four chairs around it. There we go. <laughs> Aaron sharing cheating stories with Mary Sue. <laughs> oh, hey, I caught one. Sweet. Oh, no. It says no. She does not have no chemistry with you. No, no like, no like. Probably grab like too. Not hurt for you to also. <clears throat> Time to eat everybody. <laughs> Lilith made sandwich. Uh, thank you for the hydrate, Lunar. I appreciate it. 
There we go. Four chairs still fit through. Why is there this weird space in this house? Something that's weird about this house. I think I want to fix it. Just unnecessary. I could have cut it the other way. Say goodbye, Mary. Is. We're all available. They're glitching all around the household in ways that the other households were not. Oh, no, we're not going nowhere tonight. I'll let them. Off our computer. Mamita. I'll reroll some of these Jennifer verb wants. <laughs> At least the game isn't tricked out as far as like it doesn't pretend that this is their first woohoo even though they're like an old married couple that's been together for forever. So that's good. <laughs> Hour twenty two. Can't do it in time. Should be able to do it now. There we go. Sneak out. All right. And she's in this one. Okay, she's in. Oh my god. No. <laughs> it's almost midnight. No. What the heck calls so late? Wait. I don't know how the sneak out's going to work if they're awake.
the skull of the pie and stuff. <clears throat> Got much room? I want to. I want to. These walls are in the zone. It's bothering me. all is right with the world. And they could put a sofa there. Sofa. Oh, here we go. This is a good one. Look at this. Yes. There we go. them distracted. I don't remember what happened. Not really her parents or her grandparents. I can't remember the way the game first. <clears throat> Eliza. All right, we're gonna save this lot. Let's go get the burbs started, and then we will have started all the households. So the burbs aren't as quite as connected as the oldies are. Like the oldies are very connected with the rest of the Pleasant View families because like they um you know they adopted mary sue right so that makes a lot of sense but i'll show you the burbs they're not quite not quite as connected here they are so john jennifer and young lucy have decided to trade off the fast-paced city life for some fresh air and hope to make a nice home here in pleasant they have a they have a child this is basically another child it's like, you know, the age of um, of the goth kid, of um, Alexander Goth. So he's not the only <laughs> um, kid in that generation. Because there's a lot, there's four teenagers, right? There's the two twin girls, and there's Dirk, and then there's, um, then there's uh, Darren, uh, no, there's Dirk, and then there's the broke kid. But then as far as the kids go, there's just the Alexander and the Goths, and then there's, um, other the other kid the middle child in the broke family and then there's her so it's basically just like another another kid right that's kind of in my mind why i think that they would 
Dutch. You can see Brad Verb and Tiffany Verb are his parents, and um, her parents are Jeff Pleasant and Diane Pleasant. She is actually Daniel's um, sister, so that's how the relation goes. So Jennifer is Daniel's sister who moved away to the city with John, and now she has moved back um, to raise her child, Lucy. That is the connection um, and how they kind of fit in with the rest of the uh, characters that are in view. You can see here, he's a family sim, wants to have another baby, uh, so I usually let them do that. She, however, is a career girl. She is a fortune sim. She really doesn't roll a lot of wants to have babies. She wants to get a job in the business career or in the law career. They start out um, unemployed. <laughs> they start out unemployed, so I like to lock in for her business, and I'm going to try to, I like to get her a business career. Right? I think that makes sense for her. He wants the slacker curfier. <laughs> I think he will also roll education if I'll be if I can just be patient. Um he'll roll education and uh and we can do that. So for her, I don't see them moving without her having a job. So I think that she should just get the job. And I'm trying to remember which mod I have that will just give her a job. I have a mod that will just give her a job. I think if I ban all these others and all allow business, I can just give her, I can just give her business. I think that's how I've handled it. <clears throat> yeah, they want to have another baby. I'm going to lock that in. Let them have another baby. They do have, so here's their bedroom up here. This is the little girl's room. Um, that with a sibling. That's kind of how I would set up this particular room. What's she doing? Writing in her diary. While we're, it's gonna, while we're waiting for the paper to come out, stop. Go. Try for baby. quickly. <laughs> it's like she moves, so if she gets pregnant, then it's like, she moved here for this job, um, and then immediately is going to have to take some maternity leave. <laughs> uh, so, oops. That's fun. Because he's the one that wants the baby, I'm going to have him from him to try for baby. What, lady? You're, you are a baby. <laughs> are a baby. I didn't hear baby chime, so it did not it did not work. But let's have her go find a job. Oh this kitten is
Why? I can't see the game. I can't see the game. I had a way to hack in. Um. The career. I guess I don't have that, so we'll have to wait for business to roll around again. Or law, I guess, since she rolled the one, but law comes up. But all right. It is almost time to end. I think we're... We can fast forward to Oh, career. Yes, okay. Yes. Take job. That is what I wanted. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't move here without a job. Except for Jen. But I just don't... I must just not keep my slim... Alright. This makes sense. And like, look, she already has some skills. Charisma and logic. It's about level four. Um, he's unemployed with a college education with a lot of career. So we'll see about him. I, I kind of want him to have the education career. So I don't think I'm going to take the slacker one right now. Um, I'm going to see if he'll roll something better. But we're going to go ahead and save. All right, we're going to go ahead and save and return to the neighborhood. So, now that you guys have seen <clears throat> all of kind of setting up all of these houses and what kind of Max is intended story, um, what we will do is what's called playing rotationally. So I'll go around to each of these households and play a season. So I set my seasons to four days. So like next time when we come back to this pleasant view, we'll go through each one in the same order that we started with and play like all the way to the end of fall. And then we'll go to the next household, play all the way to the end of fall. Next household, go all the way to the end of fall and keep going like that until we've done everyone's fall. And then we'll do um, spring, or no, so we go fall, winter, spring, summer. And they're all at slightly different places right now because we were just doing kind of the intro stuff and setting them up. So yeah, that's how that'll go. All right, so let me switch back to what's going on. Get out of the game. This is how neurotic I am about this. I learned this from Pleasant Sims because I like to play this way, but I always had trouble like remembering what the heck I was doing and where I had left off, especially because the way that I play Sims 2, and I think a lot of people play this way, you'll have like <laughs> you'll have kind of like a bender where you'll play and play and play and play for a couple of weeks, and then you'll put it down for a few months, you know, and then you want to pick it up again. You don't remember where you left off. And I would do that all the freaking time. So I'll show you guys. I have a tracker and you can see I have a tab here 
for the stream. And so you can see we left off with Dreamer before. So I'll have to update this and, and get all the houses set up. But we'll start with the Goth, and then we'll go to the Caliente, the one that has Mortimer and Dina. Then we'll go to the Caliente that's just Nina. Um, then we'll go into the Brogue household, Dreamer household, Pleasant household, other Pleasant household, because this one's not, Daniel's not here anymore. I created that row because I knew that was going to happen. Um, oldie household, which I have to move Lilith down there. Herb, and I have to get this all updated. So we do this again, we'll start from Goth, and it'll be like round one. These were all round zero, right? Just getting them started. That's basically how I like to play. All right, you guys, I'm going to find somebody to raid. While I'm doing that, let me let you know what's going on. So next time on Artistic License, we will be going back to Final Fantasy X. I'm going to try to actually finish the stuff in Final Fantasy X. What we're going to do is all of the, um, uh, we're going to finish the monster capturing, and then I'm going to try to start on the optional bosses, and we're going to do that until either we finish or I get bored of that and we want to do something else. I'm going to do that for the next couple of weeks, probably. Um, until one of those two things happens. I'll keep you guys. We're going to be finishing the monster capturing in the MMO. Also, next week, um, patrons I, and uh, and subscribers, I know I told some of you guys, and I don't know if you saw the update today, but I know I told some of you guys Harry, the next Harry Potter book, the first part of that stream was going to be Saturday. But we had some stuff happen where it's not going to happen. We're not going to be ready by Saturday. So we're actually going to be doing Sims 2 again on Saturday. We're going to be doing our legacy, and then we will do our Harry Potter. We're on book six, so as you guys know, we do two-part streams. So be part one and part two, and then we'll do a bonus episode. Um, but next week we're going to do our part one episode. That I think what we're going to do for today is we are going to raid into um, we're gonna raid into the Taco Fox. It's been a second since we raided into his stream, so let's do that. We're playing Fortnite Fox. There we go. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, you can support me in all of the normal ways. Here's all my socials. You can um, subscribe to the Twitch. You can do bits. You can do donations. There's a tip bar down there. Uh, my most active social media is Twitter, so you can follow me there for all the latest updates. If you want to make sure that you get notifications on time, because I actually control them, I recommend you join my Discord. So that's all the things. That's all the stuff. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. And of course, as always, don't forget. Bye.